when someone can look at a project is someone coming to have their own journey and their own discovery, not being told exactly what they're going to get out of it. There's more room for ambiguity. It's not just having to make the type really clear and big and bold. There are other ways you can still reach an audience. I think my approach would be my style. Hearing what an author is looking for and then what can we do to help bring this book out to reach more people. And more times than not, the ideas will come in a less guarded place. Instead of like, what's my, what's, what am I gonna come up with? What am I gonna come up with? That's a pressure. Oftentimes it's time to, to think and reflect and write down notes and then start sharing it with people on my team. At the studio, we have um, designers, illustrators, but they all push each other and they're all incredibly gifted. But time really ends up being the biggest, the biggest tool because in that time, it allows me to find what's not working, right? Because graphic design is problem solving. My challenge is find what's potentially wrong with this. So there's a lot of things I try to take into account and not allowed just like, oh, this looks cool. With Jay-Z and, and working on Decoded, that was an incredible experience where they love what we were doing. He was very supportive of the work and was very curious incredibly curious about the process. So I didn't take that lightly. I take that as confidence. I think for any creative, you have to find, you have to have an inherent interest. You have to be able to relate. I think above all, stay hungry and stay curious and, and don't be afraid to pivot away. If you're going to pursue a life as a creative, you have to embrace that it's going to be a roller coaster ride. There are gonna be extreme highs and they're gonna be extreme lows and you have to take them all in stride and it is so true.